I think a lot of people get a lot very discouraged too quickly when it comes to trading anything, trading crypto, trading stocks, you know, whatever it is, flipping pairs. Um, it's not an easy thing to do. If it was easy, then everybody would be doing it. And the fact that everyone is not doing it, but you're trying it should tell you something about yourself at least. Obviously, you didn't just give up on anything that you wanted to try because you're doing it. Don't give up is all I'm saying in a nutshell. That's easier said than done because when it comes to you continuously failing at trading, you know, you keep trading over and over again and you only see your portfolio going down. That's where good risk management comes in. So you're not continuously blowing your accounts. Now, I've continuously blown my accounts, whether it was Forex um or crypto or just anything it's because of what you see can happen you see what other people are doing you see what's possible you see how the markets are moving and you believe that you can get in which is not a bad thing you should have that trust in yourself however you should have that trust in yourself to continuously keep going because if you just stop then you're never going to reach the goal that you wanted to reach you shouldn't just keep trading, over trading, things like that. Now you should be able to get into some type of demo trading if you wanna keep on trading past what you set, just practice or whatever the case is. But really, demo trading isn't really going to get you anything but the fundamentals of what you should be doing, if that makes sense, you know? Trading, from what I've heard from people, is it's not super advanced or you don't need a crazy analytical strategy all you need is the basics so demo trading is what helps you get down the basics and kind of get down something that works but after you go into live trading or anything like that with real money it becomes a different feeling it becomes a different emotion just in general you know you get you go through the highs and the lows the anger the the disappointment all of those types of things when you're trading with real money you know it's it becomes a whole emotion and and, and just an entrapment i don't know whatever you want to call it in itself just knowing that now obviously me knowing that you know i can come in here and tell you guys that demo trading you should just be trading and figuring out kind of how things move and stuff like that but get into a live account as soon as you can you don't have to start with a whole lot of money you can start with twenty dollars fifty dollars or a hundred dollars whatever you're comfortable with but it always should be something that you're comfortable with don't overexert because chances are you lose that and you're going to be highly upset and you're not going to want to do it anymore get into a live trading account as soon as possible but practice good risk management so that way you're not losing your whole account because when the losses become bigger than your gains, then that's when you start basically destroying your account. And that can be devastating just on your mental health in general. I don't wanna say just one bad trade and you know you get off or whatever, but obviously if you're continuously making bad trades, then maybe you need to reevaluate what you're doing and, and things of that nature, because maybe it's just like the strategy that you're using, maybe you need a new strategy or maybe you just need a clear mind. It can be a lot of things when it comes to trading and that's why you just really can't get discouraged on your journey to it. You have to keep trying it because you, you have to try it from all different angles. That's why I mean that like, you just have to learn the fundamentals and the simple things about what trading is and just simple things, a simple strategy to use versus all this advanced stuff because then once you start getting into all the advanced stuff, then you actually don't know exactly what's working and what's not because you have so many different things that you're looking at, you know? So you're not able to distinguish, is it my mood? Is it this strategy? Like what is, what's going on with it? I think that you have to um, use something that's simple, get into a live account as soon as possible and then practice good risk management. Doing all those things is just gonna help you trust yourself a little bit more, especially when you start getting those winning trades. It might not be much, but at least it's a winning trade. You have to try to focus more on winning more than losing and percentages because dollar amounts in the end don't don't matter. It matters more about the percentages that you're getting when you when you trade because 2% on $100 might be only $2, but 
two percent on a hundred thousand is a whole lot more so if you can build something that you know you can build up a portfolio or you can build something that can come from a small account or whatever and you're trading these small percentages and you're getting and you're gaining those percentages then when you go and you translate and you want to work with a larger amount of money you do the same amounts and because you weren't so focused on the amount of money that you're making or losing you're able to just continuously do that without getting your emotions too tied into it because when your emotions get too tied into it then it creates a disaster for yourself because you're getting greedy and you're looking at what you can do or you get on the fear side and you just start focusing too much on the losing side so i hope that guy i hope that helps you guys out don't just stop trading because you had one bad trade and you have to just continue to to do it because trading is just up and down you'll see that anywhere you'll see that in a mutual fund that's controlled by somebody completely different that you don't even know it's going to be up and down the market's up and down but overall it it goes up so as long as you trust yourself and you find like a certain strategy that works for you and you practice good risk management then in the end eventually you're gonna make it catch you guys in the next video